As President-elect Barack Obama prepares to deliver his inaugural address on Tuesday, the man who helped pen perhaps the most famous inaugural speech visited Brandeis. But he was proud of the speech and uh, hard together in it because it in many ways was a continuum of what he'd been saying all during the campaign. The he Ted Sorensen is referring to is President John F. Kennedy. Sorensen was his chief speechwriter. Today, he chairs the advisory board of the International Center for Ethics, Justice, and Public Life at Brandeis, but he was on campus this week to talk about what makes for a great inaugural address. What makes them great? Great ideas, great speaking delivery, and a good speechwriter. Sorensen and JFK certainly had that combination in 1961. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. But when it comes to the specifics of the speech, he isn't divulging who wrote what. And big ideas and, and big lines like, ask not what your country can do for you, where do those come from? It's a very uh, highly classified government secret. Sorensen was a bit more forthcoming when he talked to students at the event. It was Kennedy's speech. The individual who wrote particular words that expressed Kennedy's values and policies and decisions is not the author of the speech. The author is the man who stood behind it. It was a speech that received a good deal of praise, and he deserves that praise, just as if the speech had been condemned as rubbish, it's Kennedy who would have been attacked for having given a very poor speech. President Kennedy delivered his famous inaugural address on January 20, 1961, exactly 48 years to the day before President-elect Obama is scheduled to deliver his. Ted Sorensen says he sees many parallels between what JFK was facing back in 1961 and what President-elect Obama is facing today. So it was a dangerous time, just as in many ways Obama is taking office at a time not only of great economic difficulty, but of great danger to the West and to freedom. All this will not be finished in the first 100 days, nor will it be finished in the first 1,000 days, nor in the life of this administration, nor even perhaps in our lifetime on this planet. But let us begin. More than four decades after he helped John F. Kennedy inspire a nation, Sorensen showed that he can still captivate a crowd. Max Perlstein, Brandeis Now.